Oh, yo, 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 everybody. Airzonk World Champ here. I got the game Plock. Plock. Is that how you say it? Plock? Brock? All right, I got uh, some game called Plock here. And let's talk about it for a bit because this one's kind of weird. I don't see any versions for the Game Boy. I don't see a Sega Genesis release. Yeah, so we got a Super Nintendo exclusive here. Uh, even though the game was made in Europe, I won't hold it against them. <laughs> I was all excited to play this one as a kid because back in the days of the Super Nintendo era, there weren't too many platformers around that were actually, I don't know, halfway decent. I wanted some more platform matching and plot seemed to fill the bill. But is it a good game now looking back at it? Okay. First off about the game, it's pretty generic in a way. <laughs> when you're starting out, you just move, get the flag. <laughs> And it's easy as that. The cool thing about Plog is that he can throw not only his punches but his legs too. It's your standard fare for a Super Nintendo game. Graphics are nice, colorful, well defined, but nothing too special. Something you would expect though is that the music is actually pretty good. <laughs> I don't know if you open up your ears and all that. I don't think you'll be too disappointed because I think the guy who did it, his name is Tim Fullen, and you can tell the guy is pretty professional at what he does. If you collect random powers throughout the stages, you might be able to get some temporary invincibility or even have the ability to transform into like different characters. Like the cool boxer who throws more powerful punches, a, <laughs> a hunter that has powerful shotgun blasts. Heck, he even got the ability to use different vehicles like a UFO or even a motorbike. Yeah, believe me. Even though there are about 40 stages in the game, the game goes from easy to insanely difficult in a hurry. <laughs> but I kind of like the challenge of it. What I don't like, <laughs> even though I get to like level 30 or level 20 or something, I say, okay, let's have a break. I gotta go to work or something. I gotta shut the whole game off. Sadly, there's no save feature or nothing. <laughs> uh, it's one of those games which you have to complete all in one sitting. Unless you have a save state or emulators and all that, which I don't. <laughs> oh, it's such playing on a real console sometimes. <laughs> Even though our controllers rock. I hate playing on those keyboards. Ah. So the levels are nice and creative. I love the way the game goes back 50 years in the past where you got the old time music and classic black and white levels, <laughs> which are pretty much a retread of the original linear levels you first found in the beginning, but now they're much harder. And it's a good way to reinvent stages you already went through in a sense. Even though there's a lot of different variety in the stages and the game can be pretty challenging later on, with tougher enemies and more grueling puzzles to solve. Thankfully, the controls do back it up. I had no problems executing jumps or doing various punches or throws. It's all executed very well. Looking back at this game plot here, it's actually pretty amazing. Graphics, decent, music, excellent spots and it fits game well. And holy crap, you got great controls. There are tons of different levels to visit. It's a great game. Well worth checking out. And you might be surprised just how good it is. I get Plock here for Super Nintendo. An 83 out of 100. Man, this one really surprised me. I liked that as a kid. Thankfully it's still good now. <laughs> I was really surprised how this game didn't take off. The game is almost like a precursor to Rayman. Yeah, that game is like super popular with tons of spin-off games. Clock only has one game in the series, and it's this one. Oh well, at least the game is good. So, <laughs> even though you may not have heard of it before, hey, I got mine for only five bucks. Hell, it was a lot cheaper than the Bebe's Kids game I picked up. 
That was ten dollars. Oh. And that one is way worse. <laughs> it's amazing what these games are priced at now. Unless you're playing on an emulator, which is all free, but <laughs> uh, you might download the virus. I don't know. Yep, my game, my cartridge didn't have a virus on it. Just to let you know. <laughs> all right, that's enough of my random lawn. Block, good game. Check it out if you can. Okay, this is Arizona World Champ telling you if you can't win fairly, cheat. No. <laughs> okay, this is Star Soldier or whoever the hell I am now. Over and out.